Okay. Time to move out, I said aloud, to no one in the room. As usual, I'm all alone. It's for the best, though, really. Kind of hard to explain what I do for a living. I continued loading up my gear, the blades, grappling hooks, the restraints, guns, lots of silver bullets. In fact, everything I load up in this old duffel has silver in it. I know that it does, because I in fact have a slight silver allergy. It burns slightly when I use my gear. Well, I say slightly, but it burns like bloody hell. I don't care though, it builds up a tolerance to it. In my line of work, I need the equipment I use, so I deal with the allergy. What is my living, you ask? Well, I'm a werewolf hunter, of course. I'm the best, actually. I always get my wolf. In fact, all the other hunters say that I doggedly track them, and I kill them mercilessly like a beast. My name is Gunner. I'm six foot, stout. So recently, there have been reports of a massive werewolf wreaking havoc in this countryside, and I have been hunting it for a very long time. I traveled here from a distant land to clear my head for a bit, but he came here too. The damn bastard mongrel is very clever. I'm always one step behind him. He's intelligent and cunning as well. Not one hunter that's faced him has ever lived to tell the tale. In fact, in fact, it's like, it's like he's hunting the werewolf hunters. He's been given the designation of Fenrir. Fenrir. Fenrir, the wolf of Ragnarok. Fitting that I have Viking heritage was plagued by this specific werewolf hunt. I gained some intel that Fenrir attacked a village near here, so I set out to seek this beast. It's a funny story how I gained this intel. See a hobby of mine is collecting stats on the other werewolf hunters, just to see what my peers are doing, see how they're coming along, or maybe, maybe I'm just paranoid, keeping tabs to see if anybody is trying to take my title as the best. I do have one advantage over everybody else in the field though. I can see clearly in the dark with no need of special equipment. See I was born with a genetic mutation. My eyes shine in the dark. Have you ever seen your dog's eyes glow in the dark of night? It's my eyes as well. In my data collection of other hunters. A special up-and-comer named Cameron had tracked Fenrir to this place. Too bad, Rook. I'm already here. I took my old duffel and I left the motel. And I drove to the village. The place was now a ghost town. Blood and gore stains littered the area, still looking fresh. The entire place reeked of carry-on and decay. Blood and sweat. The foul scenes and odors filled my senses. It was nothing new, though. I'm always finding scenes like this. Damn that beast, I yelled as I wandered. Damn him straight to hell. Damn him. As I wandered along, I heard a voice in the wind whispering. Come this way. This way, come this way, come this way. So I headed into the direction of the wind. It led me behind a row of houses through an alley. As I turned into the area, an old house stood with a wrought iron and shiny metal fence. 
think it's silver. And large hedges of an odd smelling plant. Actually, there are two, two odd smelling plants in fact. Two different scents. These hedges and fence surrounded a courtyard. A large old house sat in the center. Surprisingly, these were untouched by Fenrir's latest rampage. I made my way to the door. I was disorientated by the scents of these hedges as I trekked through to the door. I almost passed out, but I made it. I knocked, and an old woman answered. She looked like a stereotypical witch lady, long white hair, long crooked nose, warts, crazy gray eyes. I greeted her but she only spoke a few weird sentences before rudely slamming the door in my face. The sentences, crazy old bat had said, were confusing. Strong one, it is as you suspect. The hunter is the prey. The wolf is closer than you think. I was stunned, standing there, staring at the door that was just slammed in my face. So I left, but before I left, I grabbed a bit of each of the two separate smelling herbs from the hedges. I decided I would go to a herbologist, get these strange smelling and disorientating herbs analyzed. Then I pondered hard what these words meant for a short while as I wandered about the ghost town. Strong one. It is as you suspect. The hunter is the prey. The wolf is closer than you think. I was confused, trying to figure it out, but I shook it off. I continued my business, thinking that the old bat was probably just senile. I posted up and waited for Fenrir to return. That young hunter's intel showed he was coming here for certain to confront the beast tonight. The lunar cycle correlated with the intel so I decided I would wait for it too. I noticed the herbs I was carrying were starting to burn my flesh. I quickly placed the herbs in my old duffel and I thought, I definitely need to get these herbs analyzed. But it turns out, you can plan a pretty picnic, but you can't control the weather. Apparently, you can be certain that a werewolf is going to show up for a trap and post up to wait for it. But you can't stop a sudden pop-up storm when nature decides she wants one. Night fell, but the full moon was covered by thick clouds. He won't transform as long as these clouds are in the way. Just my luck, right? Fuck. I swore repeatedly couldn't believe. Here, I waited, finally one step ahead of Fenrir, and nature decided to prevent his arrival. So I decided to stay where I was and wait. Maybe the clouds would break. Maybe he would still show up. So I continued waiting, in the dark, with my clear vision watching the surrounding land. Suddenly, I heard gunshots rip through the air. I dropped to the ground just in time to see the bullet ricochet from where I was just at. 
The voice called from the distance. Those herbs around the manor are wolfsbane and monkshood, highly effective in warding off and injuring werewolves. Actually, it's just the wolfsbane that is harming you. Monkshood weakens a werewolf's power by 25% when ingested, but it also allows him to keep his rational mind. You still have no memory of what you do as the werewolf. But the werewolf knows what you know. Your hobby has gotten many of your brethren killed. Wait, what the hell am I saying? You are no brother to us. You are a mongrel filth, just like the things we hunt. You are Fenrir, Gunna. We used my notes to draw you out, and I came myself to put you down. I am actually the best werewolf hunter around. I shouted back. We'll just have to see about that. I continued. You think I'm just as bad as the mongrel filth you hunt? The memories began flooding back. The monk's hood I inhaled in the hedges accidentally awakened the wolf. I growled out to the man in the distance. Actually, I'm worse. Cameron, you are my prey this evening. I shouted. Now I was no longer Gunner. Or Fenrir. I was both. But Gunner was in the driver's seat. With Fenrir's urges. I made her my duffel. And I grabbed a gun. And a handful of silver bullets. And I loaded the gun. The silver bullets burned me. But it was nothing to me. I'm much older. Much stronger than all the werewolves in the realm. I smelled Cameron's stink and I saw him clearly in the dark. I pulled the trigger, and I splattered his brains all over the blind he was in. I walked over to him, and I cut his heart out with a silver blade that was burning my flesh. I ate the heart, and after I cleaned up the scene, I decided to write this in my journal. I'm going to tear out the page after I'm done. The real gunner will never know this still, but I do say this, stupid hunters, you are all my prey, I am the alpha of my race, I am Fenrir, the wolf of Ragnarok, eat your heart.